Now I'm going to show you the applications and spotlight features of Google TV and I think that this is going to be the area where people are going to spend the most time. Um, on the one hand, there's, there, there's a lot of content to go through. It'll keep you occupied for quite some time. On the other hand, I feel that as of the date of this recording, the applications seem to be a little sparse. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, first, let's look at the applications. Okay, we're at the application screen, and to save uh, video time, um, we're going to go through this very quickly um, and try to get as much of this as we can. Uh, let's start with CNBC Real Time. This is a great service. It provides you with the latest information that's driving stocks today. You get real-time quotes off of the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, and users can create their own specialized hot lists so they can get the latest quote information. Uh, we're going to return to the main screen, and the next thing we're going to do is go to the gallery. Now, the gallery syncs with your Google Picasa account, and um, this is very important. You should create your Google Picasa account before configuring it with the Logitech uh, Google TV. We made the mistake of doing the opposite and, and it didn't work. So I'm going to go into gallery and as you can see it's syncing with my Picasso library. These are some of the albums that I have. Let's go into my celebrity photos and uh, you can see uh, some of the uh, celebrity photos that um, I've, I've taken over the years. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the uh, home page. The next thing we're going to look at is the Logitech Media Player. Now, I had problems with this, and from what I understand, Mac users in general were having problems with this. Basically, the function of this is to connect to your network and um, enable to look at uh, video, picture, and music content on your PC. Uh, likewise, you can plug in your a USB device to the back of the controller box and look at pictures, music, and uh, movies that uh, movie files that are on the USB device. Now, the um, Logitech Media Player easily found our network source, and I'm going to click into that. It found my music library, and I'm going to click into that. It found my playlists, and uh, if I go into my playlists, uh, go to my uh, go to one of my uh, playlist libraries. The problem it had was it played the wrong song, and it did it time and time again. I'm going to connect to uh, this song called uh, "I Don't Want to Miss a Thing" by Aerosmith. And you can see that there was a problem playing the song. And this generally was the error that came up time and time again. And doing some research on the internet, I discovered that uh, there were many uh, Mac users having the same difficulty with that. So we're going to get out of this, go back to our home screen. Okay, moving on. Uh, next. If you have a Napster uh, subscription service, you can connect to that and listen to music um, on your Google TV. Uh, NBA Game Time is a, a cool application for uh, NBA fans. From here, you can get the, uh, the latest uh, scores, the latest standings, and uh, browse through various video clips. We're going to return back to the application screen. Uh, for those of you with Netflix, this has Netflix interactivity. Um, I was easily able to um, connect to my Netflix, my Netflix account. There we go. The, um, the interface is pretty well polished. Um, I prefer the interface on Apple TV slightly more, but um, I'm very happy with the way uh, movie titles are laid out here. Um, I'm going to select Shutter Island. I'm going to select Play. And as you can see, the um, information is being buffered. And in a few short moments, the movie should start playing on the screen. Uh, currently, Netflix subscription, I believe, is uh, $7.99 a month for unlimited streaming capability. I believe that's the price. Uh, if you have a Pandora uh, subscription account, you can also connect. Uh, Pandora uh, lets you create your own personalized radio stations. 
Uh, also from here, you can access the various settings of Google TV and your Logitech Review control box. The main problem I find with the applications is that there's not enough of it. Um, one of the things I would like to see is something along the line of widgets where you can go in and get instant weather information or instant traffic information. And one of the biggest things missing here is an email application. Yes, you can go on the internet and you can look up traffic, you can look up weather. Yes, you can go on the internet and you can check your Gmail account and you can even bookmark it to the home screen. But it would be much nicer if there were actually applications that were formatted for Google TV and would give you quick access to those functions. Let's move on to the Spotlight features. Here we are at the Spotlight screen and at last count there's about 34 different uh, sites that you can go to, some formatted for Google TV um, more than others. Um, there's a range of content here. It's going to take you hours to go through ranging from news to newspapers to movies to movie clips to just video clips, internet radio and even music videos. I'm just going to briefly, very quickly go through some of my favorite sites here. First of all, CNN, of course the most popular uh, broadcast news channel there is. You come to the site, you can get the, the, the latest news offerings. Um, here you can um, scroll through various uh, videos that have been uh, broadcast on CNN throughout the day. Um, if we scroll down here, we can kind of take a look at the, uh, the latest top stories, which have been updated 24-7. They've been capsulized here in uh, pictures and text, and you can take uh, a look at... Uh, uh, video content and uh, text content, uh, content related to that. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, this is one of my favorite sites as an HBO subscriber. I didn't even know this site existed, but you go to HBO Go, and if you're an HBO subscriber, this site is absolutely free to use. What it enables you to do is to browse through content um, that is currently showing on HBO or has been um, and be able to watch movies on demand. You can watch exclusive HBO shows like Big Love, Boardwalk Empire, The Ricky Gervais Shows, even uh, movies that are showing on the network like Green Zone and Avatar. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to select Boardwalk Empire here. Um, this is one of my favorite shows. Um, click on it to browse episodes. And there you can see that there's a list of all the episodes from season one, and you can watch any one of them. So that's a, <clears throat> that's a really neat uh, program there. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to YouTube. YouTube's done something very interesting. They've created YouTube Lean Back. And basically what you do is you type in whatever you're searching for. And then at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to show you here, they give you thumbnails uh, related to that search. And the nice thing about these thumbnails is you just simply um, click on the thumbnail and it automatically plays the video full screen. So you don't have to sit there and manually uh, make it a full screen video. It just plays that way. And as you can see, the, the video plays perfectly uh, without any hiccups. It looks pretty good. So let's, uh, let's get out of there. Let's see where else we can go here. Uh, the Onion's a great site too. Um, anybody that's, that's read The Onion online is going to appreciate this site. Um, there's a, a large playlist of Onion videos, very funny stuff. Um, I think you'll have a really good time watching the content on this site. Um, but, you know, time is rolling on, so let's get out of there. This I really enjoyed, USA Today which kind of gives you the uh, Google TV version of the newspaper. And you'll see what I mean in a second as this loads up. Um, here you go, front page of USA Today. And unlike the newspaper, you have it available to you 24-7, and the content is updated uh, throughout the day. So you just uh, move your mouse to whatever story you want to read. Um, let's click on this. And... Uh, it expands to uh, uh, a, a story concerning uh, Powell and Obama in 2012. So you've got USA Today at your fingertips. <clears throat> and something I think you'll really enjoy, TuneIn Radio. 
this gives you a um, large selection of internet radio stations, and it's broken down by um, by genres. You can listen to music, talk, sports, even podcasts. I'm going to go to music, and I'm going to go to decades because I'm looking for 70s music. And we're going to come down here to Dream Radio 70s Plus. And we're going to be listening to Southern Nights by Glenn Campbell. And instantly here, you have your own radio station uh, to play internet music from. And this is absolutely free. So, uh, there's an idea of some of the things that you can do uh, with Spotlight on Google TV.